Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in a previous video I uh, spoke about getting paint protection film on my Tesla Model 3 and I was talking about doing another video uh, related to ceramic coating. So this is that video. Uh, hope if you like this video please uh, click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Uh, I am trying to improve the quality and the content of some of these videos but it'll take some time but uh, hopefully this will give you the information that can help you make a good decision for your own car. So I have a Tesla Model 3 and what I decided to do to protect that investment, it's a fairly expensive car, was paint protection film is one thing and I believe that's somewhat of a must. Even if you just get the all weather proof kit that Tesla now sells, I think just in the last two to three weeks they now have it on their website and they have just some small pieces of, of paint protection film that you apply to areas where uh, Model 3's can get rock chips fairly easily. I have some videos where I show the rock chips that I got on my car. Originally I wasn't going to get any protection um, but after you know four to five months into ownership going partially through winter and through summer I realized it's probably a fairly important thing to do to protect the paint. Anyways, this video is about ceramic coatings, and what I ended up doing was getting something that's fairly new on the market, and I want to talk about my experience, show some pictures, and then I'll show some video clips, hopefully just to show you what it actually does to your car. So here on this webpage, how does, um, and, and I must make a distinction, there's your traditional ceramic coating, which most people get, uh, and this talks about that, conventional ceramic coatings. I actually ended up going with a graphene-based ceramic coating. And I'll explain the difference. So here, this is just some Google page that I pulled up. So a conventional ceramic coating, it's mostly made up of silica oxides, SiO2. And those do a good job of, of uh, protecting the car uh, in, the, in terms of chemicals and water and water spotting to a degree. So it's kind of like a glass coating over your paint and it makes things kind of shed off. Um, so that's traditional ceramic coating and talks here, you know, they are prone to water spotting. Whereas graphene makes this claim that it reduces the heat on, on the surface of your car. And so that's typically, you know, when your car is warm, water spotting is much easier. And you can see in the picture here, this is what they mean by water spotting. So those droplets stay on and it really, all the minerals and everything, you see them dry on like this. That gets really annoying when you want your car to look nice. Maybe it's not that important to some degree for paint protection, uh, but you know, over time this stuff can kind of bake into your paint if you know the sun bakes it in, can get through the coating over time and whatnot. So ceramic coating is one thing, graphene, makes a bunch of claims, you know, less water spotting, a little bit stronger. Uh, it says here that uh, ceramic coatings retain heat, so they do water spotting a little bit easier. Um, because graphene does like a honeycomb structure, the chemical properties that it contains is supposedly has a high uh, water contact angle compared to most ceramic coatings in the market, so it kind of sheds that little bit better and less water spotting. So it means moisture in any amount will slide off easier, leaving a lower risk of water spotting. And I did see that to a degree. A couple times I let my car just air dry. Uh, you know, I was out in the rain and I just let it dry just through the air without anything else. And it does pretty decently. It will water spot more if I do a water pressure cleaning of my car and just let that dry because I think there's maybe more dirt in those water droplets. So if you're doing a, a, a car wash with your pressure washer or, or garden hose, I still would dry it off after, but that's just another subject. So anyway, benefits of graphene coatings, just to talk about uh, what I have here. So less water spotting, anti-corrosion against winter road salt, 
chemical resistance, uh, pH is below 12, flexibility, it's hydrophobic. You'll see that in some of my pictures and videos uh, that I attached to this video. Enhanced durability, five years minimum. I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, high slickness, higher abrasion resistance due to its strength, wet, glossy appearance. Um, and so here's the coating that I got. It's from this company called Art De Shine, and it's this graphene BX coating. And the bottle itself is just like 114 bucks. I believe this is Canadian because it's from a Canadian website. Um, I had my local ceramic uh, guy here in town in Prince George apply this. And honestly, when you get ceramic coating done, you know, it, it can cost, I paid about 1200 bucks. You, you might get it for cheaper than that, but honestly, you're paying for not necessarily the application of this, but all the detailing and the cleaning of the car, because here's how it works. You got to get your car in perfect condition before you apply a coating like this, because it's only going to show as good as your car uh, looks before the coating. It'll just enhance that shininess and whatnot. So if you have like rock chips and scratches and stuff, all you're going to do is coat that with this coating, but you're still going to see it. So anyway, the coating itself costs 114 bucks, um, and I'm not going to read through all this stuff. You can Google it yourself. But essentially, all the things I mentioned before, it's supposed to last longer, better shedding properties and all that kind of thing. So let's just take a look at some pictures now. So this first picture that I will show here, I'll make it full screen. So this picture is when I first picked it up from the uh, person who did the application. It looked absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it looked glossy and nice being a fairly new car, you know, four or five months old, but he really did a great job detailing it. I also had all my chips, uh, paint corrected not from this person but someone else i also had this car paint protection filmed by someone else so what i had this guy do is he detailed the whole car cleaned it up shampooed it buffed it you know cleaned it all up and then he applied the ceramic coat over everything and this is the first time he used a graphene coating so he was learning he did a really great job it was very very slick to the touch um, you can just see all that glossiness i was just super impressed um, and yeah, I mean, he did a really great job. I'll leave a link to the company of Prince George who did it for anyone who's interested. Um, so let's take another quick look here. So in this picture, this is after getting the ceramic coating, just putting the uh, soap foam. So I did a, a wash here. And uh, this is what it looks like with soap foam. I don't think anything really special there. It does shed stuff, but soap will cling to the surface. That's what you want with soap. So most soaps are, are designed to work that way. But I would say it does kind of shed the soap a bit more than it would without having that ceramic coating. Probably just because that's the properties of the ceramic coating. Just wanted to show a picture. This is what it looks like when you use your foam cannon. Um, here's a picture with the car washed after that, that foam. And you can really see here, I don't know if I can zoom in on this anymore. Anyway. You can see here that water beading. You'll see it a bit more in, in some of the video clips I attach at the end of this video. But um, basically you can see that water beading. I, I will show in a clip where it's raining out in my truck here. In the background you'll see what it looks like when it's raining on that compared to this car. But basically you just have these water droplets. And it's not just a sheet of water like you'd normally see. So really, I was really impressed. You'll also see when I do a pressure wash on the, the car itself, how it sheds the water, does a great job. Um, so this past weekend I made a long journey, about 1,000 plus miles, 1,700 kilometers uh, from BC to Alberta, just showing some pictures here. I went through these mountains on a very long drive, and you can see on my windshield all these splatted bugs and everything. The car got really, really dirty. Um, there's me showing one of the glaciers I drove past. The car still kind of looks really shiny, but it did get, you know, lots of dirt and bugs on it. But I think it got a lot less because of that ceramic coating, because it tends to shed all the junk, right? But obviously you can't fully have nothing stick to it. That's pretty tough to do. Uh, this is a picture, again, 
This is me on the way back. So I'd already driven about half of that journey, 500 miles, maybe three quarters of the journey. And I'm parked here at, in Jasper, Alberta. Car looks pretty glossy. I mean, after driving for such a long trip, still looked really gorgeous. Um, here's another picture showing the car in Canmore. And you can kind of see here in this picture, all the bug splats here in the front. It was really, really bad just because driving that distance. Um, and let's take a closer look at those bugs, you know, really, really covered. So, you know, sometimes this would take a fair amount of work to clean this. And I have to say, uh, my impression was having cleaned the car before, I had done some longer trips before getting the ceramic coating. It's a lot easier to clean uh, after getting that ceramic coating. You spend a lot less time. It's really easy to get the bugs off um, and just to do a clean. This is sort of, again, another foam picture with the ceramic coating on. It just, you know, you can still see it seeping off to some degree. Um, and this is a picture, again, washing those bug guts off. And honestly, maybe a 10 minute wash it took to do this. And it's just really easy to clean all that junk off. You can see again the beading. So it's not like a sheet of water, but it's beading off. And then it just dries really nice. Um, so with that, I'm going to show some video clips. Um, some I believe are before and some are after the ceramic coatings, just so you'll get an idea of what it looks like. Um, and we will go from there. Thanks for all right, everybody, so SPX 3000 Sun Joe pressure washer, got that on Amazon, I'll put the link below. Anyway, did a quick rinse, soap, rinse again, and uh, can't really point out, but there's uh, been a whole bunch of paint correction done here. There's a whole bunch of spots here that were chipped, you can't even tell. You really can't even tell. There was a fairly big one up here, I'll see if we can find it. Yeah, you look really close. You can see first rain, ceramic coating, beating quite nicely. It's not really sticking out at all, just beating. That's what you want to see on a nice ceramic coat. All right, so what does this ceramic coating do? Let's take a look over here. It's been raining all day and you can see on the truck it's not beating. It's just sheeting. Okay, sheeting water all over the place. Okay, and same with the car over there. But you saw that what the truck looked like and this, I was just out in the rain and noticed the beating. You know, the water is just staying in beads. It's not sheeting on there and really just all around the car is really nice that it just sheds that water right off and all around so this is that graphene coating and that water just be hard to shine graphene coating <laughs> <laughs> 